I am out writing plots today like I do at the end of every month and thought I'd give you a little glimpse of what I do and what I look for with turf grass research. So today I'm writing a uh, tall fescue trial and I'm looking at quality and so how good it looks, how thick it is, things like that. And then because of the time of the year that this is, August, it's been hot and humid, we've got disease pressure and so there is brown patch on these plots and so I'm rating that as well and so I wanted to show you a few things here to give you a glimpse of what uh, what I look for when uh, when rating grasses the cool thing about this test is these are all experimentals some of these will make it to market uh, some of them won't uh, but this is the early early stages these are these are tall fescue progeny that uh, a couple of the parents looked interesting cross them together, see what they get, and screen in places like, like ours where it's hot and humid to see how bad a disease does it get on it. And if it gets lots of, lots of disease and maybe the quality's not that great, well, the breeder might just forget about it and not, not use that, uh, that grass for anything else. Uh, but if it does look good here and it doesn't get disease, things like that, then the, uh, the breeder may move forward and continue crossing or do more testing to see is this grass actually decent. The thing that really decides whether a grass is acceptable or not though is if it produces seed. And so one of the big big uh, drawbacks of the seed business is there may be a really pretty grass that uh, does everything that you want it to do, but if the plant doesn't produce seed that they can harvest and put in a bag, then it's useless. And so uh, that's a big factor too and that's part of the testing process that breeders do to see what kind of seed yields they get when they're uh, when they're breeding seed so here's the uh, uh, trial that i'm testing and uh, uh, i'll walk you through a th few things that i look look for so like i mentioned this is tall fescue and again these are all experimentals but you can see there's different different colors there's some that are thicker than others there's some disease right there on that one. Um, and so the thing that I think is really cool about turf grass research and the whole breeding process, and I'm not a breeder, I'm, uh, I'm a researcher, but you know, like why does this tall fescue have bad disease pressure where one literally right next to it here doesn't have near the pressure that, that, uh, that one. It's the same pressure, it's just one is susceptible to disease one is not getting it. And so uh, as I look through these, I can see right here a dark colored one. And so I may rate this one a little bit higher in terms of quality compared to this one that's a lighter green or some back here that are lighter green. And so this one might get a higher quality score because it's generally fairly thick. The color is good. The, the texture of the plant is thin. We look for fine texture rather than coarse texture. And uh, so that plot has a lot going for it, uh, except for maybe the uh, little area there that uh, has uh, a, a little void where a weed came in. Um, so those are some of the things that we look for. And then I will transfer those to uh, a plot plan. And so I'll give a number for what I think the quality score is of the plot. And I'll give a number for, in this case, brown patch. And then uh, we'll enter these into a statistics program, figure out, you know, are there any significant differences? And then obviously do this month after month after month for an entire year to see, you know, are these good grasses? Are they not good grasses? And as you look across the farm here, we've got all sorts of different things like this going on. And this trial right beside me here is a bluegrass trial out in the distance back here, right back here. And I've got lots of summer patch on that right now. And so I'll be rating summer patch as well as turf quality on that, uh, uh, on that trial. So that is a little bit of a uh, glimpse into some of the work that I do on our research farm.